Okay, so we are in front of my new video setup and this is everything right here. I purchased the new Apple Mac Mini M1 to work exclusively with Ecamm Live and um, let me just walk you through it. So let's check it out. Okay, so like I said, you know, I wanted something to work exclusively with Ecamm Live. Previously, I was using my iMac. My iMac is in my recording studio, but with Ecamm Live, you know, it really didn't work with my MacBook Pro. So I had to lug the iMac from video set to video set in my studio. And, you know, that was just too much, right? So, you know, when Apple came out with the new M1s, I was like, listen, I mean, I gotta get one of these because I did have a Mac mini previously, you know, years ago, I used it as a server. You know, I was just doing some coding on it and things of that nature. But this Mac mini right here, the M1, this will be used only with Ecamm Live and the Elgato Stream Deck software and the Canon webcam utility app. And that does work on Big Sur as well. So let me walk you through what I have. The M1, this is the workhorse, and this is just the base model, eight gigs memory, and 256 gigs of SSD storage. So, you know, I think this is gonna work out fine, and not think, but it, it is working out fine because I've already connected this, tried it out, and you know, it's kind of cool because like I said, I have different video sets and I use one video set when I interview individuals for my Behind the Groove podcast and I use others to do talking head. This is my main set right here where I do most of my YouTube videos. So, and everything will be recorded on the Apple Mac Mini M1 with Ecamm Live. Now I did have an old Dell 32 inch 1080p monitor, so I was good with that. And obviously I had to buy a keyboard. So I got another wireless uh, Apple keyboard and I had this mouse just hanging around as wireless as well. So let me walk you through everything else. So what we have here is all the other devices I was using previously, but now that will be connected to the uh, Mac Mini M1. So obviously we have the Rode Roadcaster Pro. You hear all this chatter about, oh, this is a game changer. Oh, that's a game changer. You know, all these different devices, DJ controllers, turntables, whatever, right? This is the game changer right here. <laughs> The Roadcaster Pro is the game changer. It is period, forget it. Nothing else is the game changer. So, you know, if you notice with the Roadcaster Pro, it comes with a USB A to USB C cord, but I wanted a USB C to USB C because if I just pull this up right here, you'll see that the Mac mini comes with two USB C and two USB A. I knew that the Cam Link 4K, which is again, another device I use, I will be using that in one of the USB ports. Um, but if you take a look here, if I just plug the Cam Link 4K into the USB port, you can't possibly plug in something else into you know the USB port right next to it. So I was looking around and I was like, I'm gonna need like some sort of an adapter or something like that you know, looking online, but then I looked in the uh, box and Elgato sends you something like that. So now I'm able to just plug this in and boom, everything works. I am so excited about that because now I'm able to not only plug in the Cam Link 4K, but now I can also plug in my Canon SL2 and have two cameras. So, you know, along with uh, Ecamm Live. So that's pretty cool. What's left are the two USB ports, USB-C ports, I should say. So obviously the other device I have is the Stream Deck. This is awesome. I had thought about getting um, the nine key, but the form factor is so small. And eventually if you got the nine key, you would upgrade to the 15 key. So I just went for the 15 key, which is the middle sort of Stream Deck. And eventually I'll probably upgrade to the 32, but right now the 15 is awesome. I mean, you can do folders, layers, everything else, and it's fine. But obviously it comes with the USB, USB-A cord. You know, you can't detach it either. It's, it's like hardwired. So I needed something to go from USB-A to USB-C. So I just got like this adapter for like six or $7, plug that in like this, 
And now I'm able to plug in my USB-C and again, the other USB-C cable right here, which will go to the Rodecaster Pro that will go in the other USB-C port. So that is pretty cool. So you got to love that. So that's really everything right there. And then I have one other piece. The Google Wi-Fi. And so they dotted all over the house. You know, I have one on each floor. And then, um, you know, this was like a floater. So I just had it like going from room to room when I needed to like hardwire something in you know, get things done really fast and, uh, you know, with a really solid connection to the internet. And so this is, it's, it's nice and small and it's compact. I can move it around because the monitor I have is on some sort of a, uh, a monitor stand with wheels. So it has like a nice little like tray that I can put the Mac mini M1, also the Google Wi-Fi mesh. So now I can hardwire the M1 Mac mini right into my internet and you know, nothing's gonna drop, everything's gonna be fine. And that's really the way you wanna go too. I mean, I have a, a, a gigabit speed here um, in my home and it works fine, but um, I generally, you know, through Wi-Fi get like 150 up, 150 down. But when this is connected, I get 250 to 300 up and down. So. I thought, hey, you know, I'd like to have that because when I'm doing like interview mode using Ecamm Live, you know, I just want the extra power, the extra, you know, stability. If I'm bringing in like one or two guests, I just want that extra stability. And that's pretty much it. You know, this device right here, this is just the IO Station 24C. This is an audio interface from Personas. I'm using this to record my vocals for this video into this like boom this boom mic, which is um, Audio-Technica AT875R. I've had this for about a year. I use it every now and then. It works well, you know, um, I don't have any complaints. And obviously this is here because this is a little bit of cognac and, you know, I like to just sip it every now and then. So yeah, there you have it. Again, quick video, my new video setup, exclusively Apple Mac Mini M1. will be working with Ecamm Live so videos from this point forward will be shot on the Mac Mini and Ecamm Live. Videos were shot previously with Ecamm Live, but now I'll be using the Mac Mini M1. Again, base model. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Peace.